India's ambitious moon mission Chandrayaan-3 will aim to land in a 4 km by 2.5 km patch on the lunar surface, 3 lakh 84,000 km away from Earth. The landing zone for Chandrayaan-3 is significantly larger than Chandrayaan-2 near the lunar south pole. ISRO is leaving nothing to chance, giving the best opportunity to the Indian lander and rover to achieve a successful landing on the Earth's natural satellite. It's a mission that will test the very limits of ISRO's scientific advancements, a mission that should firmly establish India as a space age superpower. Chandrayaan 3 will lift off from the Satish Dhawan spaceport at nearly 2.35 pm on July 14. It will reach the moon's orbit a month later on August 23rd, after which ISRO will finalize the day for landing based on various parameters, including the energy available. Now, here is when things got complicated in the previous Chandrayaan 2 mission. Once the lander neared the moon's surface, the engines generated too much thrust too close to the ground, which meant that it could not reach its designated landing site and thus crashed. Now, with the landing zone far larger, this would give the onboard systems on Chandrayaan-3 enough opportunity to conduct a safe touchdown. For Chandrayaan-3, ISRO has adopted a unique approach known as failure-based design instead of the usual success-based design. This means ISRO's Chandrayaan-3 focuses on analyzing potential failures and implementing safeguards to mitigate risks. Moreover, Chandrayaan 3 carries additional fuel, enhancing its capability to handle dispersion and travel to alternate landing sites if needed. The lander now boasts extra solar panels on multiple surfaces to ensure power generation, regardless of its landing orientation. ISRO conducted extensive tests, including vibration tests and simulated failure scenarios to analyze possible outcomes. The Chandrayaan 3 spacecraft will be launched using the powerful Launch Vehicle Mark III, which integrates propulsion, lander, and rover modules. The mission carries scientific instruments to study lunar seismic activity, surface properties, plasma environment, and elemental composition. As we count down to July the 14th, the excitement surrounding India's Chandrayaan 3 mission continues to build. Do leave a comment and hit the like and subscribe buttons for more news and updates.